Hi everyone, this is Tanya here with the Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a fabulous day. Thank you guys so much for choosing to join me. And today's haul is going to consist of a variety of different products. And this is a Tuesday morning haul. And how many of you out there love Tuesday morning? And so I want to share some of the new things that Tuesday morning has and some of the things I was able to scoop up for some of my local stores. So definitely stay tuned to get some of those SKU numbers so that way you can find some of these items if you haven't had a chance to locate some of them. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First up, I wanted to share with you guys, um, Tuesday morning has ribbon. So I got this uh, one spool of ribbon here because I'm going to be making um, something sweet with this one um, a little later on um, this summer. And it was only $0.99 cent for this spool of ribbon. And it's one nine five seven nine three two, And this ribbon is one-fourth of an inch. Great for tying bows on cake pops. So that's what I will be using this for. All right, next up, I found these Tim Holtz Eiderology Mini Corners, and you get a set of 12 of these, and it comes with silver, gold, as well as bronze. And the SKU number for these is 1957888, and only paid $1.49 for these. All right, and then I also was able to track down some house mouse. Now, my store didn't have a lot of house mouse stamps, but I was able to find just a few of them. And so one of the ones I found was this one right here, and I really like the size. This particular house mouse stamp has Mud Pie, Maxwell, and Muzzy on it. And this one is called Candy Joy. So these little mice have um, candy canes, and they are just too cute. And the SKU was 1974750. And only paid $2.99 for this one. And then the other house mouse stamp I found was this one here. And I really like the size of this one here. This is Monica. And I just think it's just too adorable. And the number for this one is 1974788. So these are the two house mouse stamps that I was able to locate. I'm always on the search for these house mouse stamps. I think they are so unique and I didn't realize how many house mouse stamps really existed but guys there are a lot out there but they are just too cute to pass up. Next up, I don't know if you guys knew or not, but Tuesday Morning has the Illusion stamps. And I already have a lot of them in my collection but the ones that I did not already have, I went ahead and picked up. And this is one of the ones that I got right here. Um, this is actually a stamp and a stencil. And so it has all these beautiful stamps. I like this one because it had, it just, um, it was a great way or a great stamp collection to use in your mixed media projects as well as just creating background. So I really like all the different things you can do with it and how these were arranged. So in this one here, you have like a variety of different letters of different sizes and you got polka dots right here. And then you have a different um, a range of different numbers here in different sizes as well. And then the diamond shape. And so I really like how these patterns and all these different beautiful um, stamps were laid out. So the skew for this one, and then here's the stencil. I didn't give, show you guys the stencil. That's what the stencil looks like. The number is 1950812 if you guys are looking for this one here. And there's other dilution stamps if you guys are looking for them. Now, I did not get my other dilution stamps from Tuesday morning because I had already pre-purchased them from Michaels. Because Michaels as well as Hobby Lobby carry them as well. Okay, and then next up I found some Dina, um, I think it's pronounced Wakely or Wakley. Um, but here is the stamps that I found for her. And these are all priced at the same thing, which is $4.99. And the SKU for this one is $1950819. And this is the stamps right here. And as well as it comes with the stencil. So that's what the stencil looks like. And I like this stamp set. It's really beautiful. Look at those different women on there. Absolutely gorgeous. But most of all, I love the words on the sides here. Now, some of them are kind of covered up underneath, but some of the different words, because they're probably hard to see right here on film, um, is bold, brave, fierce, worthy, um, vivid, spirited, 
and that's just the name of few. So these are some of the different things that they have on here. And I just really love this stamp set. I'm going to have so much fun using that. And then I came across this one right here. This one, for some reason, this pose just it reminds me of Michael Jackson. I don't know if you guys are seeing the same thing I'm seeing, but that's what it looked like to me when I saw it in the store, even though it might not be him. But that's what I liked about it. But it's a fashion stamp set um, because they all have poses here. But I love it because it's like a silhouette at the same time. This skew is 1950820. And here is the stencil for this particular one here. And as you see, you get like three different types um, of stencils on this one stencil piece here. So this one is just really nice. All right. And then I also have this one right here. This one here is... Um, 1950818 and you have a variety of different stars on this particular stamp set here which I thought was really cute and it has the word shine at the bottom right here and then another one is probably stars behind that is covered up and then here is the stencil for this one okay so that's it for those particular stamp sets right there and next up, we're going to go ahead and move along. And I located some Tim Holtz stamps. So these are some of my Tim Holtz stamps right here. And all these are priced at the same thing, is which is $4.99. The skew for this one is $196-4276. And here are some of the different stamps that you will find on this particular one. So you have your um, birthday balloon, the birthday hat, the birthday cupcake, along with the candle, and the birthday gift at the bottom. And this is what they look like on the back. So I think it's a really good size, really nice. So if you look for that one, that's what that one looks like. And then this was absolutely one of my favorites right here. This one here is called the Treats stamp set. So this one here comes with the soda pop. It also comes with the ice cream cone, the bubble gum machine, and the, oh, yummy butter popcorn at the bottom there. So this is what we have here. And that's what this looks like. And just in case I did not give you the skew, it's 196 4277. Really nice. All right, next up we have this one right here. And unfortunately, this was the only one in the store at the location that I was at. But they still had a ton of these stamps left. Not this particular one here, but the Tim Holtz stamps that I've showed you already. This one did not have a skew on it. I did go through to see if I could find a skew. So if you happen to locate, the previous stamps I just showed you, you should be able to track down the SKU for this particular one here or have somebody um, call the 800 number and that way you'll be able to find it. But this one had a lot of great things on it that I really did not have in my collection already like this fan here. This is my first fan stamp. The typewriter. Then we have the old fashioned telephone and then we have the alarm clock. And so I thought these were really neat and cute and this is what it looks like on the back so I just had to have this particular one right here all right and then we have this one here this one is called schoolhouse so the schoolhouse has an apple a cup of pencils a globe and also a stack of books and the skew is 196-4281 for this particular one right here and this is what it looks like on the back and then we also have the industrial stamp set by Tim Holtz and it has a light bulb, it has a lock, a key, as well as the gears. And that's what that one looks like. And the number is 196-4273. And this is what it looks like on the back. I thought these stamps were really neat because of the size and also because you get four in the pack, which is a really great deal when it was originally priced at $10.99. And this stamp set here is called Nautica and the number is 196-4278. And you get the starfish, the seahorse, which is one of my favorite sea creatures. And then also these shells at the bottom here. And this is what this one looks like on the back. And last but not least, I have this one here which is called the sewing stamp set and then you get this one here the sewing machine the scissors as well as the spool of ribbon or thread and the number is 196-4271 and this is what it looks like on the back 
All right, so hopefully you guys can locate all these beautiful stamps that I have located. So this is another peek at them again here. And then they did have other ones um, that I did not pick up, but I went with the ones that I thought were um, ones that I knew I would definitely use in my collection. Some of the other ones, they were still nice, and those might be ones that may um, get your creativity started. So feel free to definitely get those, but they did have more than what I showed you. Okay, and then I also located this right here. I know some of you have probably seen this in the store. Tim Holtz have these um, huge dies right here, and they are great to use to your um, big shot, or either call your scissor machine. And um, this was priced at $7.99, and it was originally $19.99. And the SKU is $1947194. I'm thinking about going back to grab the. I want to say I saw the phone in that clock. I've been looking at that for a while, but this is the actual size of it. So it's a really huge size for what you pay for. And I like these dies because I've seen somebody create something really beautiful with this piece right here. And now I'm kind of thinking outside of the box here what I can do with those other dies if I was to get them. Because right now I just have the camera one and this one here. And some of the other ones I've shared with you on previous videos with some of my hauls, guys. But this right here is a really nice die, and I've always liked the typewriter. You could do a lot with this. So I definitely want to share that with you. And then I also have a few more things to share with you guys. So let me know if you have um, any luck or if you've been using some of those Sizzit Tim Holtz dies, and if so, how have you used them? Then I found this item here. This here is the Monkey Lever Punch. And this Monkey Lever Punch right here is um, really awesome it actually cuts out a monkey but you can actually cut this out and also use it to make other little animals too and I'm looking at this little piece right here and that looks like a frog head so you can the um, imagination is awesome so you can pretty much use your imagination and create whatever you want to with this punch it don't necessarily have to be a monkey but if you do happen to cut it out the size is two and a half inches and I got it on clearance so I didn't pay $7.99 for it so that was a pretty good deal um, so I was happy to scoop that up all right next up I also located a few Fisker punches and the Fisker punches that I came across was this one right here this one here the SKU is 1967957 and only paid $4.99 for this one here and I think this was a beautiful image I just like that I cannot wait to cut this out it's really really awesome and so on the back here it shows how this person used it how they made this at the top right here if you guys can see that okay and then the next punch that I have here is this one right here and this SKU number is 1967958 and that's what this one looks like really pretty and again we have another design at the top here really nice okay and then I also got a project life this is a punch right here that you can use to do some of your um, different book binding I'm not sure if I'm actually going to keep this um, this was only $3.99 was originally $14.99 the reason why I said it because I do own a cinch machine and it pretty much does the same thing so I may be giving this away so stay tuned to see what I do with this because this may be going in my giveaway for my huge challenge um, this summer so definitely stay tuned to see what I do with this this may be an item that one of you lucky viewers out there may happen to win if you happen to participate in my upcoming challenge but if you are looking for this and you don't want to wait on my challenge, the number for this one is 196-4017. And it's a great thing to have because you can create a lot of different things with it, which is really unique. So it's up to you. You can wait on my challenge and I hope you definitely choose to participate because this may be going in that giveaway there. And then I also found this embossing photo like I need another one, but I loved it. So I'm a sucker for those roses. So it has these roses on there and it has this beautiful um, brick pattern on, a, on this particular embossing folder. So this one comes with two embossing folders and the number is 197-6667 and it was priced at $3.99 and I really like this. And it's probably hard to see, but that's what it looks like on the back. But it does have two folders inside of it and I was glad to get that. And this one is a great find. It's by Courtyard. All right. Okay, so for my last two items that I want to share with you guys, one is this quilling template that I picked up here. The number is 1957414. I only paid $1.99 for it. 
and look how awesome this is and in addition to that i got this piece because it actually um it goes with this other tool that i got which is called the quill ease I don't know if you guys have seen this particular tool here. This Quill Ease tool right here helps you with your quilling. So it's no stress on the hands. And this was originally priced at $14.99. I got it for $6.99. The number is 1957411 if you guys are interested. It comes with this tool right here as well as an ideal booklet. But let me share with you some of the different ways you can use it. Now, I don't know how many of you out there love going to Pinterest. But I love Pinterest to get... um. You know to get inspired by seeing different things that i see on pinterest and that's another way that you can use to kind of get those juices flowing and those creative juices so that way you can go ahead and go in there and create some beautiful art so this is that template that i just showed you guys of what it looks like on the back with some of the quilling and that's what that looks like again there so let me share with you some of the different things you can create and so i've already brought up pinterest right here so i'm going to share with you guys some of the different things that I see here so one of the things right here I thought this cupcake was really really cute so look how they did this cupcake the cupcake is really neat um, they use the quilling technique on that and then also the quilling technique was also used on doing different flowers and different things too like this one in particular this is so pretty see look how beautiful that is absolutely gorgeous and then we also have get this page to come down some here all right so my ipad has been stubborn all right give me just a moment guys i'm gonna clear out of here so how many of you guys are interested in doing some quilling techniques with the tool i just showed you so i think it would be really awesome to definitely try it out so it looks like it's a little stuck, but I was going to share with you guys and show you how they actually did a Mickey Quillen um, project. It was so pretty and it's not trying to act right. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking out time to definitely um, join me today to watch my haul. I hope you guys um, can find some of the different items that I located. This is Tanya here with the Memory Lane Keepsakes. You guys continue to be blessed and also get those creative juices running and i hope you stick around choose to subscribe to my channel if you want to be a part of my family and also click the bell for notification as well as give this video a thumbs up have an awesome crafty day and happy summer bye bye